I'm trying a new gym today. It's called Kings, and I think I'm already gonna like it because I can hear the music from outside. Um, it's like a bodybuilding gym. It's packed. <laughs> finally home I went to the gym like you saw I just joined a new kind of like bodybuilding gym and then I also went to the osteopath and it was my second time going if you watched my last vlog you would have saw I went then but I feel so much better basically like because of all my posing practice and stuff like my lower back has been killing me like uh oh yeah, basically my lower back has been really, really sore. So Raj, my osteopath, clicked me into place like you saw and just like kind of relieved tension, realigned me. So I feel much better. So what I'm gonna do now is eat some food, kind of like post-workout. I don't know if I want a shake or if I want real food. I think I'm gonna have some real food and maybe have a little bit of a shake later as a sweet treat. But yeah, I feel so much better. Train shoulders. So it's been good. I still have to do cardio on that thing. So I have to do that later because I haven't done very many steps today, but it is the bank holiday weekend. Yeah, I've got like another like 12,000 steps to do today, guys. Ooh. <laughs> so I pre-cooked up some chicken mints, which is like my favorite kind of protein probably on prep because there's so much volume in chicken mints. And then I'm just gonna have that with some lettuce leaves, just some salad. I ate all my carbohydrates before I went to the gym. I had loads of sweet potato. So I'm gonna have protein post-workout and then um, just chill, just chill. It's Harry chilling on the sofa. <laughs> So Harry and I just went on a little bit of a walk, just about 30 minutes because I hadn't done very many steps today, like I said. But now I'm gonna do about 30 minutes of cardio, then I'm gonna have dinner, chill out, and then I'm gonna do another 30 minutes of cardio later. But I got a white monster when we went to the shop and I'm gonna have this, watch a little bit of YouTube, do some cardio, and yeah, do some more later, like I said. But I'm going to um, 
chat to you guys tomorrow because I've got a really fun day which I'll tell you about in the morning. So stay tuned for that and yeah, I'm gonna get this done. <sighs> So it is now the next morning. I've got my favorite coffee in all of London from London Bridge. It's called Three Wheels Coffee. So if you go through London Bridge ever, highly recommend this coffee. It's my favorite in the whole of London. But yeah, this morning I have an exciting morning like I was telling you yesterday. Basically, today I'm off to do my F45 teacher training. F45 teacher training, like so cool. Um, if you don't know, you should get to know F45 is basically like a functional training studio and they're all over the world, like all over the world. So I basically went to one of their workouts the other week with Paige Hathaway. Have not checked out the video. I will leave it linked down below or like up on the screen. But basically went to a workout with her, it was amazing. And I thought, oh my God, I would love to teach at this studio. So a couple of weeks later and now I'm off to do my teacher training. So I'm just in London and oh my God, guys, these views. So this is the city, all there, and then over here, I think that's Tower Bridge. I always get so confused between Tower Bridge and London Bridge. Actually, in one of my vlogs, I pointed at Tower Bridge and said it was London Bridge. So I think this is Tower Bridge, but basically, I have to walk over Tower Bridge now and then go to F45. But I thought I'd bring you guys along because I'm a little bit nervous and I thought if I vlogged, I wouldn't be so nervous. But I got my coffee. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful views this morning it is tower bridge <laughs> that's tower bridge and then london bridge is over there i think i think oh i'm the worst <laughs> chicken mince, lettuce, greens, sweet potato. I'm gonna have this in Starbucks and then head to the gym. So I just got to the gym, warming up on the treadmill, but I'm tired guys. Like I'm really, really tired. Even though I had a good night's sleep, I really don't know what's wrong with me. My body is just hurting and not like, not like Dom's, like I don't have like aching muscles. My body just feels really tired, if I'm being honest. And I'm also hungry, even though I just had a meal. <sighs> it's hard. About, I've been fine, like I said in one of my last videos. Like, I haven't been feeling hungry or anything like that. But now I am. I've been feeling hungry. I've been feeling tired. I've got a monster. I keep on saying my last one. But I just felt like I needed it. Hopefully I'm going to do like 10 minutes on the treadmill. I'm going to try and do some legs. See how it goes. Just finding it hard, very hard now. Hungry, tired, feeling weak, but we're gonna do it. So I just got home. I actually stopped off at the nail salon on my way home and got my toenails done and got a pedicure for my competition, which is great. I was honestly so tired walking home that I saw the nail salon and I was like, I could sit down for like half an hour, an hour and get my toes painted. So I did that and it was so relaxing. I honestly feel so good after getting it done. Just like a little pamper session. But I kind of wanted to touch on the topic I spoke about earlier and that is feeling hungry. Because obviously when you're in a calorie deficit, when you're expending a lot more energy than you're used to because of cardio, training, steps, everything, you're naturally going to feel more hungry. Like your body is going to be like, hey, where's my food and that's just normal especially on bikini prep like you might feel a little bit hungry if you're dieting but there's like a fat loss diet and then there's like 
competition diets and it's just an extreme version of regular dieting because at the end of the day getting stage lean is not the norm and it's not something everyone should aspire to I know people say it all the time but you do have to go to extreme things to get that lean calorie deficits amounts of cardio and of course there are certain people who can like cut on a quite a high amount of calories. I have had friends who competed and didn't do any cardio, but it's not the reality for everyone. But because I was saying I was hungrier earlier, there's really great ways to avoid hunger when you're in a calorie deficit and trying to be on a diet. And that is having your meals closer together. So for example, yesterday I ate my breakfast at 11.30, I had a bit of a lion, which meant my meals were closer together for the rest of the day, which meant I wasn't as hungry. Whereas today I ate my breakfast at like 8 o'clock in the morning, which is like a normal time for breakfast, but it just means the rest of my meals are more spread out, which makes me a little bit hungrier. So that's why people practice intermittent fasting where they kind of like have all their meals closer together but that is just a really big tip when on a diet is like try not space out your meals like if you're if you have an early start maybe have a tea or something try and delay your breakfast a little bit until you feel like you really want it and that way you might not feel as hungry later on of course there's lots of food ways to make you feel fuller without extra calories but i think i'm going to talk about volume eating in the next video so if you would like to hear about like little tips and tricks and hacks when on a diet leave a comment and let me know and give the video a thumbs up because it means a lot to me i hope you guys are liking these prep videos like it's really fun to be able to share the journey with you and everything but now i think i'm going to take a rest day from cardio today and just chill out on the sofa and have a protein shake and yeah just have a pretty chilled evening obviously i'll see you later if i've got more energy after resting maybe do some cardio at home but yeah that's me for the day my session was grueling i did was doing three sets of everything and i did 10 reps for the first set 20 reps for the second set and 30 reps for the third set and like on some exercises I could not get to 30 I was dying and bless some of the PTs who know I'm competing were just like stay strong you can do it I was like <laughs> but yeah you wouldn't have wanted to see that workout it was <laughs> was awful and um, but speaking of workouts before I go guys on Sunday this coming Sunday I have a very 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 exciting announcement about workouts etc over on my instagram so go onto my instagram this sunday check out my big news and um, i'll tell you more about it in a dedicated video but yeah it's very exciting okay i'm gonna wrap this video up here though hit that subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you guys in my next video